hey y'all what's up welcome back if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel my name is helen we are in zone 9a and we garden in our backyard yes ma'am here in texas so today i am opening up this new package i received in the mail it is a badger brand weed eater and hedge trimmer i've been needing a newer um more heavy duty one because we've been needing to chop down some bushes and if you've been around a while then you know the grass in my backyard grows so freaking fast sometimes i have to weed eat it before i can even cut it with the lawnmower so let's get into some of these pieces that came in this box so it does um convert so you can have a blade or for like chopping down like brush or like I use it for the tree, believe it or not, Garrick and I. Or you can use the weed eater part where you put your weed eater string in with your gas and oil mixture. Now, if you've ever purchased one of these before, you know they're pretty easy to put together. You're just going to hook um, the base of the weed eater that houses like your oil and gas mixture to the actual pole. Hook your blade on and then you're good, ready to go. Now, this is a heavy duty model. It is not really light in weight at all. It is a gas model with the gas and oil mixture. So it is not, it's cordless, right? There's no cores. There's no batteries. Um, you can buy the gas and oil mixture. That's what I normally do from the store instead of mixing it myself. But it's a nice uh, size reservoir so it doesn't run out quickly. I was able to do the backyard, the front yard uh, with edging and weeding and still had some of the liquid left. So it's definitely a nice size. Garrick was actually very impressed with this model. He was like, yeah, this is heavy duty. You can really trim down um, like some thick grass with using the blade. So, of course, it has the safety mechanism on it where you have to hold it in order to start it on both sides uh, with the safety clip and the actual lever. Then it also has the button where if you just want to shut it off, you can just shut it off. All right, so I'm going to speed this part up so we can go ahead and put this together so we can get started on the yard. I have been needing to um, trim the yard. If you've been around, you've seen me do my yard several times, but I've been wanting a heavy-duty one. So now that we got one, we're going to try it out and give you our thoughts. There's only a few pieces. You're going to put the actual protective cover on uh, for the weed eater so as it spins, it's not spitting that grass out towards you. I mean, they always say make sure you're wearing safety goggles anyway when you're out doing the lawn, especially using a weed eater. But yeah, this was easy to put together. I actually did it by myself. No one helped me. All the tools you need to put this together does come in the package within the box. So for the handle, the cover for the uh, protective cover as well as the blade now like i said before you can use the blade or you can use the weed eater string depends on what you're trying to cut now this is the part where you will switch out the heads of the uh, trimmer so here i'm just taking this bolt off it's really simple guys and you're going to place the weed eater string on top and it will lock into place because it's going to screw on and it's going to screw in the opposite direction because it spins one way so you have to remember to screw it on opposite like you do your plug-ins and um, and lock it really good so that when you start it it will spin uh, with the machine now later on in the video once we've trimmed you know and did all the edging or whatever i will show you what this looks like with the blade on it so you can see as well but right now we're going to head out to the backyard all right so now i'm going to go ahead and put the 50 in one cycle oil in so we can get started like I said before, the reservoir is pretty deep. It's a nice size and it holds a lot of liquid. Now, if you can, you know, mix your own, mix your own. But I just buy it and I just keep it in my cabinet in my garage with my gas or whatever. Um, I've always used gas. I guess you could say more or whatever until recently when I started doing electric. But I know with the gas, they are uh, more high powered and they can cut through and they last longer. There's no charge. You know what I mean? So while Christopher is tackling the yard, I will be tackling the weed eating. Um, if you've watched my video prior to this one, you will see me put out the sheet mulching. So that would have been before this video. But I wanted to share with you this device because I think that for those out there who want a more heavy duty uh, machine, this is it right here.
So recently I told you all it is a pain to we eat between these grow bags over here. It's hard to get behind them. Um, they were just like clustered and just, you know, I just kind of threw them out when I first started um, growing food in those bags. So I did go ahead and do the sheet mulching on this side. Now, when it comes to the back wall of the fence, I told you all I didn't mind weed eating that part because I feel like everything was separate enough where I can get to the actual grass and weed eat. Whereas over here by the pots and the bags, it was just hard to get behind them and I would have to move them every time I need to weed eat. So with this actual machine, y'all, I'm able to get really low to the ground. Like this thing is so powerful. I could pretty much cut all the grass down if I wanted to and do sheep mulching. It act nearly, it knocks it down. I was actually cutting some cucumbers on accident. Like this thing right here chops so quick before you know it, everything was trimmed. One thing I can say, this thing is so high powered that it nearly took me half the time that it would normally take with my leader. I've been using the one with the uh, battery than it took with this one. Like this is just like, it just hovers over and just cuts so quickly. It's so fast. If you're in the market looking for a new power tool in regards to like your trimming, your hedging of your yard or whatever, uh, the bushes, all the things, right? Um, this is a really good actual machine. It's very high powered. It's heavy duty, but I'm telling you, it's definitely worth the money. I will link it down below. I'll link the direct link to the website and more information if you're interested. And then I'll put a bit more information on the screen too that will help you in your decision making in regards to this machine. Now, about maybe twice while I was uh, trimming the yard, I did have to put on the string a little bit. And you'll have this, and you'll if you've ever weed eat it, then you know it is what it is. Sometimes that string go up in there, you hit something while you're weed eating, and it pops in there, and you have to pull it back out. So this string can be purchased pretty much anywhere. Um, you can order string uh, depends on the thickness that you want or whatever. This is actually a pretty thick one. That's why it's able to. I was able to cut like really quick okay but you just kind of click it and turn it a little bit you can tighten the string or you can put it even more to make it longer whatever you need for uh, your needs in cutting your yard all right so i'm headed to the side of the house and i hate when grass grows up the side of my house so i keep it trimmed so if you know like I know, you have to keep this grass trim around your appliances, your major appliance like your AC unit outdoors. You're going to want to make sure you keep, you know, keep it low and trim so you don't get all that grass trapped into your unit, which will clog your unit, you know, after a while or whatever. But um, this is just a really good weed eater. As you see, I'm just trimming around the house to keep everything neat and clean so Christopher can go ahead and cut the yard. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like in um, edging the yard. I think I got a few clips. I did also get a few clips of us um, trimming a tree. Christopher wanted to chop, help chop down a tree. Our tree had grown so large, y'all, that um, it was shading the area my grass wasn't able to grow. And then I couldn't actually do what I wanted to do in my bedding in the front of the yard. So I let him cut down a few limbs. And then when Garrett came into town, he actually used the trimmer to uh, cut down more of the tree. And I'll show you that in a minute. Y'all see that edge line? <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the blade. I went ahead and put the blade on. You just literally unscrew the um, weed eater part and you just uh, bolt on the trimmer. So Garrick is going to go ahead and trim some of these trees for me. I have to say the one thing that I was very impressed with is when the weed eater string is on, it gives me 17 inches of cutting space. So it cuts a lot at one time when you're weed eating. That's why I cut down the length of time 
for me to weed eat and um, trim like my backyard, right? Now the extra string is really good and thick that came with this machine. So my lines for my yard in the front was crisp. Okay, they were crispy when it came to edging my yard. So this is a three-in-one machine. So you can, you know, cut your brush. You can weed eat. You can edge your yard. You can do all the things. As you see, we were trimming down trees. So make sure you hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or any more. I don't know anything else you want to know about this machine. I can give you as much information as I can. But it is from Amazon. It's linked down below. Go straight to it. It's a sale going on right now. Definitely a really nice machine. But thanks for hanging out with me today. And I'll see you on the next one.